must go home. What do they have cooked up for us to start things out on Haven? And Haven, bit of a playground for the IGLs. Maybe that's part of the reason why Fnatic ended up opting into this one, but not messing around already. That Trailblazer just going deep into the site, and Tenz was following that one, but he was shut down in the middle of all of this. This looks like a fast play now. Just trying to make their way through into Garage. Going to be potentially bogged down by all this utility, but there was a flash in play just to push them back and away. Fnatic already claiming two kills. It's up to Sentinels now to scramble, try and salvage what they can out of the round. A bit of damage done to Chronicle, but right now just biding their time, waiting it out. It's on death to try and make something happen here. No pressure anywhere else, and Dirk has walked down mid. He knows that the spike is dropped. He knows they're all contained inside Garage. This should be Fnatic easily cleaning up. Yep, they know exactly what's going on here. Sheriff in the hands of Durka. Already getting some lovely damage down onto them and right through the walls. Three kills in the round for Durka. What a way to set things up. I do think it's really interesting though, Bren, that Sassy is playing the sky here. When you think about Sentinels, you're expecting Sassy to be the safe pair of hands. The guy that's a veteran, king of initiators, safest player in the game. Just able to really pick up the pieces when things go wrong. But Yeah, and, and having him on Sky instead of on Breach, it's a really aggressive comp from Sentinels, and I think it's going to ask Sassy to get really involved in the fighting. Yeah. Setting the tempo. Yeah, it's rifles across the board for Fnatic, so... Manage their economy well enough that they're going to be even in terms of those weapons against Sentinels. Dirk is feeling it. Yeah, he is. I mean, the dash active right now, looking to try and take an early fight. He sees the head. What is that? Rolling back the years with that one, Dev. Straight through the wall. I mean, just a little juggle and a shot. That's all it took. Trailblazer are now going to be trying to what make a great through. Garage, what a great nano swarm. Yeah, it that breaks it, right? It does. It breaks any kind of utility that is channeled. So if you've got a Sova, it breaks the drone. If it's, you know, sassy there, Trailblazer. And that allows Alphia to keep his turret up. They don't spam it through the wall. So map control advantage to Fnatic, but they're still 4v5. And they've got a good read that this is ending A. With a stack in the play that they've got currently, making sure that every option's watched for. Look at that crossfire. I mean, they've just got so many layers to this. But also, Leo pretty heavily committed in short. Yeah. Quite wide. It's going to be a fault line now to stun as well, so Leo can't see too much. Does have that dart, but does he want to use it? After shock into the corner, a bit of spam just finds his targets. Wow. Beaming them down, wow. and it's pure instinct play. Three kills from Leo, who's just anchoring that position. But it is down to Alfie in this 1v2. Spike gets planted, finds the kill. Smoke dissipating at just the wrong time for Zekken. And now he's backing away. Tens holding close to the angle on graffiti, and he just found it anyway. On Fnatic and an operator in Durka's hand, he explores down mid as Tens takes an early oh face my. into a long. But this looks push. awkward for Durka. Deep push, a slight angle, and he's burning his dash at the beginning of every one of these rounds. Yeah. Recalled star there. Gonna be pushing him away from that angle now. While all this was going on as well, it was a bit of a slow burn on Alpha Sentinels as they are just trying to make sure that they get a bit of space in a short. This Trailblazer up close, Leo. This is so advanced from Leo. Yeah, he's there. He doesn't really have anybody watching his back, but Fnatic are committing a lot of players here to the site. You can see this, and the Rolling Thunder's going to be catching them, actually. Leo going to be caught. Flash play, and, well, the knife's just not good in that kind of position, but Boaster was isolated. Now a drone. Fault line as well cuts across, and Dirk is still there, holding the angle at heaven. He knows what his players are, and he will find them time and time again. One after the other, but Sentinels will answer back. And it's just down to Sassy. Positioning, I believe, known. He's going to get reinforcements as Alfie is going to be rejoining him at Heaven. Spike out in the open now. Will he get an easy fight? Just trying to isolate one of them, but no. Jiggle at the positioning. Leo doesn't give away too much now. 28 seconds left in this round. Time starting to get burnt, and now he knows where the second player is. That's one broken. Just trying to isolate one of these fights, and well, the warbang angle, Alfie here. And they drop down to an eco. So left to stew and think about what they really want to be doing in this round here. Looks like they are just trying to slowly push towards the B side. Trailblazer gets a decent amount of information. Dash forwards by Tens there. That's just trying to even get this plant down as an aftershock. So Tenzia is going to be paying for that one with his life. A bit of, again, spam from the Phantoms at play. 
Tap onto the spike. Post plant positions being played here by Sentinel. It's going to take a miracle for them to just get much else with it. Yeah, a bit of jumping and running and gunning from Leo. But already the spike just being stuck through all of this pressure. They didn't have the weapons or the util to be able to... Over on C. And a deep dash from Durka. He's not wasting any time, is he? That's a deep dart as well. A set play, but it can... Up close and personal within the cloud burst. Takes out the threat of Durka. But a pincer attack as well. Bosler was trying to make the most of the chaos. Pushed up into, oh my goodness, into A lobby. And he's even finding a couple of kills of his own. Potentially no. Ends up going down before he could claim the second. The trade was there. The timing's so messy there from Fnatic. I understand that it's a set play, but Sentinels had a lot of windows with which to reinforce their position. Alpha, yeah, missing that shot. Very wide swing. Dog will miss though, so not stunned up. He can afford to just retake this angle and just on the arm of death. What a shot to hit. Giving him just nigh a pistol, but now you're going to see already pushing through this one with the rolling thunder. The ultimate to try and clear it away, and the players had to vacate. Sentinels trapped in the cubby, and Alfie has got that line of sight angle watch for once more. But the spike handed over to Pankhada. He's got his ultimate, so he's going to be able to get a free plant now onto A. 1v3. Can he do it? He's got a lot of time to threaten a reposition. He's going to smoke both I quite Spawn like this. and A Link. That's really smart. He's just. The a bunch of misinformation into it, but this fight now by Leo him, meeting him into short. It's Moving massive. the first kill. It's massive. Takes it down on 1v2, but he's given away what? where he is. What is that? Chronicle so far ahead of his teammate. There's no trade in sight from Alfie. Not a paranoia. Waiting for the tap of the spike. And there it is. Rips his way across a full blind. Another tap from Alfie, but still biting, waiting. Smoke ready and waiting. Wide swings if it Alfie. So calm and patient in the clutch. Really big round from Althea. After he missed that opening op shot, I thought it was getting us. Yeah, disrespecting that utility that was going through into a lobby. Oh, he knows. Durka knows. Ken's locked into this position. Even the utility, the shock dash, you can see it now. I have the shock, though. Durka has to respect that one. The dash to just disengage, make sure he doesn't take too much damage. Stingers can still be deadly if yeah. Durka gets caught out here by a flash. Damage. The flash actually doesn't connect onto Dirk. He's still there, ready and waiting into the corner. Updraft play, and wow, Tens makes the most of it. A bit of whiffage there from Durka, holding in a very aggressive angle. And now that they're in a 5v4 post plan, Def might choose to use his ultimate. Okay, there you go. Lockdown. Place down. Lockdown for a lockdown. How are you getting these kills? With the guns at hand, all up to Sassy. Stinger in his hands, tries to whip out the pistol, but already being swarmed by the players now. The lockdown. Ah, oh, destroyed. Not a problem. Yeah, no issues whatsoever. And a ton of time on the clock anyway, yeah, even if they had all been fine. detained. Fnatic committing. Yeah. Boaster's hanging around for a little bit, now only just starting to make his way over. They might not be ready for this A explosion. Yeah. Risky maneuver that could be played there. The stun is going to force Durka to not be able to scope in now. He can't really help them out, but already Boaster's trying to at least relieve some of that pressure, but it's spam into hell. Catches on to Durka, the common angle that he was playing. Two players of Fnatic falling. Including Chronicle, make that three. Leo opens himself up so wide there. Unfortunate timing with the smoke just fading away. What an answer by Sentinels off the back of that timeout today. We're talking about what they wanted to do differently. Perhaps that was part of it, what they were discussing, the contact play to make sure that Fnatic didn't have as much information to work with, that they couldn't rotate effectively. Yeah, I think at this point, that's got to be credited as a really nice... Uh, IGL and call by death. I think the idea of just using that single piece of utility to push Durka away and recognizing that reinforcements don't come that quickly, it's something that I've always loved about Def's calling, is that he mixes in those contact attacking rounds with big explosive executes. And remember that on X through after this. And they're gonna be taking it. They know of that big piece of util and the dart being committed. Yet still Fnatic are holding with players close. There's a Seekers now. Fault line through, that's just going to be used in response to try and slow them down. Even the flashes, Tens can't quite see a thing. Even beefed his flash for his own dash coming through, trying to spray it down. Poster does help them out a bit. A running what? gun in action. Okay. Three kills for him. And just backs away, rotating around. No time on the clock, Tens. Percentage play now knows that there's not a chance in hell of him winning this round, so just has to save the rifle. He's going to get a backstab on Boaster here, but Boaster's already done the damage. Yeah. Amazing defensive give. calling, and also 
of the heavyweight big hitters on Sentinels. He's just taking it to them. That's what you need. It's kind of attitude, mindset. That Whoa! You really do need the knives. Oh my words! It's the same kind of pathing from the pistol round, but it doesn't work again. Yep. Just too many stray blades just landing all over the place there. Gets a couple of the players low, but oh, wow, that shot just being found. And, and this is disastrous. Sentinels need a miracle here because going down eight rounds, giving eight rounds to Fnatic. Brutal. Really, really brutal for them. They do need a miracle. Who's going to be the playmaker? Dark gets broken. Cosmic Divider cut across now. Moving forward. Sassy has to hold this. He knows he's being pushed. There's the first opener. Still Zekken. His positioning is known. A pop flash play. Moving forwards. And Zekken isolates the fight, but eventually shut down. Really, really well calculated there by Fnatic. Making sure that he didn't overstep themselves. Didn't give too much away. Very solid retake. And at this point, an extreme... So this could be a really valuable backstab position if they decide to go for the C here, which right now just a contact play, breaking that alarm bot, but the positioning is going to be known now with 40 seconds remaining. Durka looks down the one angle, still going to be holding it down. Rolling Thunder to push him back, wants to take the shot before it goes through, but there we go. The extra layers that I was talking about earlier. Alphier locked and loaded, and it is disaster for Sentinels. Two players left standing with depth falling all down to Zekin. A nasty shot to be found, but Alphier once more with that different area of the map. Yeah, they've found the opening. They have found the gap in the defense. And Def is going to be asked to do a lot. Def and Pancada also full bought in this round. So oh, yeah. they'd be in a challenging spot if Def goes down. And we're losing his right foot early. Here's the dash through. Has to go for a bit of a spam kill here. Leo is being isolated, surrounded right now. But yep, holds the angle. And Sassy just wades right into him. Alfie is back there. That flash was not oh. good from second. A bit of a self flash there, but. And now things are getting horrible for Sentinels. They kind of need to just save two weapons into this round. They really do. And lose the rifle. They, they got destroyed before they were anywhere near setting up for the retake. Yeah, this is last chance desperation mode for Sentinels. They need somebody to go huge, and uh, Tens is not here. All that YouTube are just being dumped through. There you go. Fault line. It's not on the one side. Sentinel's opting to just completely get out of there. So they want to play for this retake now, but the weapons, like I said earlier, are just not good for it. I mean, Tens has got an operator. And Sassy's also got no flashes. One is going to come back online at some point in the round, but they're really relying on Zekin's utility, and I, I would give Tens the rifle. Yeah, they have done that, actually. Top to the round, so Sassy holding the operator now. We'll see what Tens opts to do. Paranoia rips his way across, including the stun as well. Finding a one fight, no! All just being met pound for pound, match for match. The crossfire just far yeah, yeah, too far. Waiting for that recon to come back but, online. But I do think these short players need to be a little further forwards. Now they start moving their way forwards. They're into good space. And, and here we go. A start and that's it. Everything just sent flying. Updraft right round the corner. Even the aftershock. Sublime placement of the utility. So well executed. And that double stack. The risky play by Sentinels here on their weaker buy does not pay off. Fnatic. Looking so damn ready to take that 12th round, set themselves up on map point. It looks sublime, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so good. Remaining. And Fnatic are going to take that step closer to taking map one. And it would have to be uh, an almost impossible miracle run for Sentinels to mount any kind of comeback. Fnatic looks so in control. The game plans are gorgeous. Brent, a lot of the times, super teams do not live up to the hype. It's obviously way too early to call it for any of the teams in VCT with the year just starting. But I like what I'm seeing so far from Fnatic. They haven't just strung together a bunch of good players on their team. They've got a nice game plan. and good. For all the heroics, it is still not looking good. It'll take it one step at a time, one round at a time if you are Sentinels because like you said, Josh is still fanatic in that driving seat. Knives now going to be ripped out for 10. Still, that's going to be a lockdown instantly. The Hunter's Fury is used. Leo was ready for this one. No hesitation. Players falling left, right, and center, and they just cannot capitalize. Sassy, the last man standing. He's handed an easy one. The barrel of the gun just opened it out a little bit too wide. Drone tagging. It's going to push him back. Just hoping for the reswing there with that free fire, but Fnatic are looking. More than ready now to take this one. Surrounding him, the reposition. Look at this from Durka. Into the back of garage. It's just unwinnable. 
Layers of utility, no one giving him an easy fight. Beams him down, but left to five health. And the doubled up positions, look at it. Waiting it out with the patience. Intelligent play from Fnatic. And they take map one in this series. Loaded with a ton of utility. It can take map control. It's really good on the defense side too. Big clash here though in ropes. Yeah, already gonna be trying to take this one. And guess what, coverage was there. Durka takes the first shot. Chronicle had his back, even with the disengage in play. So it's left Sentinels with a player disadvantage. And it's 3v4 now, looking to regroup with the rest, or at least with the space that Pankata's gained ever so slightly. Yeah, the Viper setup creates a little bit of threat, a bit of pressure over towards a heaven. Oh, they're reading it. But there's already three players here. Yeah. And, and part of that is because Alphiez Cam sees him to be heaven, and he's not worried at all. 30 seconds left. And so Durka lines it up. Right down the angle, a single shot will do it to the chest. Sassy, not stand a chance. All up to Pancada with no time left to even play in this round. What can you even do in this situation? You have to try and plan A. Not likely, oh not when Dirk is hitting shot like this. I mean, that but in these kind of rounds, Def is probably just going to be feeling out what the defense looks like. Yeah. How do they respond to different things? Where is the cipher set up? Nade is going to be supplementing this entire push, and they all fall down, with the exception of Tens, who's just late lurking through B main. This heaven position, watched for. Flash goes all the way up top there. That is an instant trade, so Durka only going to be claiming the one. Double satchel across, Alfie could be the difference maker. High ground position. Crosshair placement was not good, but he uses the cage to get back out of there. Sight's going to be gained. Wall has to be used, though, and Heaven wasn't really watched for there. Tens had the spike in his hands the entire time. He will get this plant down without too much problem. Still, Fnatic, it maintains and held on to control of Heaven this entire time, and looking to re-clear now. Through ramp down into main, and Boaster holding this paranoia. This is a big play, ready and waiting. It's going to be ripping its way through. It's going to be a temp stairs. They're trying to hide through the smoke. Showstopper letting it rip over the wall, though. Oh. No one watching for it, and a spray down. Reset of the aim, Def being the playmaker. Quite a bit. They throw a bit of util out and just contact up. But this wall is going to be causing problems now. That gives Sentinels a ton of space, though. How do they want to play around this? You want to fight it. Just waiting. Stens holding. Solo, you got to be joking. The spacing there just not quite good enough, and Fnatic, they crumble. This is a save round at this point. Uh, the only thing Fnatic are hoping for is that maybe Pancada gets panicked and uses his ult for no reason. I mean, this round is over. And all down to tens. Being the playmaker. This guy. We On a new role. About him, man. Yeah, new role. And 2023 really is the year of redemption for this guy. You know, he's playing on a map where we spoke about it. Historically, his performances were never good. This map always haunted him in the past, but... Yeah, he's had occasional performances where he goes nutty on, on Jet, but his team still looks scrappy. His raise was never that great. And there were a lot of, you know, narratives about him being poor in elimination matches and stuff as well. Yeah. Frankly, the guy just has a microscope on him because of the size of the... Yeah. The, the, the audience that he commands. I mean, the guy set the standards for star level performances. And tournaments come through, like you were saying, Josh. Maybe a bit slower play from Fnatic, but already a tempo shift. Sassy has been using this dog, though, every time. So this doesn't feel any different for Fnatic. No. Up until they all burst out this smoke. Which is right now. You're going to see the double satchel play over the top. <laughs> what is that? Absolutely unbelievable. And the crossfire set up, Alvia ready to bail it out just as Sentinels try and collapse into the site. Space being game, Pankata does hold, but still no one's dealing with Alvia. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Tucker just what? walks into the smoke like ships in the night, but this time Dev was aware of it. And that might have given an opportunity for the two Smokes players on Sentinels to clutch. The spike though is in such a horrible position. And a triple crossfire, the camera's still up. Everything is stacked against Sentinels. But they have a hope. Hope and dream. Still, the cam is going to spot them out. See that warbang angle? That's just off the cam. Spots the player, pings it out, and you warbang him through the box there. Boaster took a bit of damage back. That exchange of fire. 28 seconds left. How do you find an isolator fight here? Fnatic, so favored. Slide off angle by Leo. Does he not spot him into the corner? 
He does, but good movement from Leo. The wider swing, Pancada wasn't ready for it, and Alfie, what a clean up. Just fast burst into the side, a bit of a jumping from Tens. Not sure if he saw them there. Smoke going to be placed now up into heaven. Paranoia also primed. There's a dash forwards, but that wall is oh, nice interesting. Wall. Yeah, blocks them off. Removes one of the available positions that they could have just been swinging from. Oh, and the counter wall play. What a play to make and what a call in the moment. Still, Fnatic overwhelming them. And Sentinels just did not look ready for that one. Two players left alive, Zekin and Sassi. Can they make it work here? They're in great positions to deny the plan, and the pressure is actually on Fnatic. Yeah. But Zekin's just so out in the open. And, and his crosshair placement, it, there's no way he knows where anyone's coming from. Yeah, no one holding that angle. So Chronicle just contact pushing all the way up. Now left into that 1v3. Spike should be able to go down without too many problems, but there's one of the walls. It's Fnatic just waiting right now for the walls to fade away so that the rest of the team can help them out and get that clean plan off. There you go. Spike planted. A Fnatic, action. Fnatic with this pistol round are going to be starting some serious momentum unless Sassy can work a miracle. But I think it's just far too much. He'd have to hit outrageous shots. And Alfie is equal to... Fnatic, a great opener there, claiming that pistol round. You can see this in that, going to be that dash engage, up draft up over the top. So, Doka looking to try and create some space, but Sentinels are not wasting any time. Already making sure that they can fight them. Going to be a swing attempt now through into main. Jiggle of the movement there, but both are not really being baited out too much. And a shot to the chest will do it just from the marshal in that moment, cleaning up these players one after another. Well, never adjustment made, though, Sentinels. It's going to be the Satchels working their way forwards. Fnatic trying to gain control of this slow orb at the feet. The players in a choke point. This wall is so wow. interesting. What a... as well, apologies for that one, Pankada left into that 1v3, has to find his kill onto Durka, low enough, single bullet might have done it, but he's just so alone right now, and he's been surrounded on every single side, the time pressure just too much, and a heartbreaking moment for Pankada, forced to just back away from the fight, not a chance in hell, and it leaves no room for error now for Sentinels, with this Fnatic claiming that 12th round on the board for them, Map and series point within their grasp. 
Early slow orb, need to try and push back the angle. That's that pressure being applied. Even the ultimate there into the back of the side. That's going to be clearing this one, and Bosa sticks it. It's paranoia. Does he want to open himself up a little bit too wide? Def should punish that indeed. He does show stop around the corner. And the swings are there. Good trades in action. But the pressure is more than on right now. Fnatic, they make it nice and even. 3v3. Boombot destroyed. Another nade sailed right past them. And the wall just intersecting, causing all sorts of troubles. And to the back of it, Tens was just so unaware of this. And a res online. And this is shambolic. Sentinels left in a 2v4 all on Sassy and Zekken. Flash ready. We'll find one of the targets, gets them into the site, but a crossfire and a massive play needs to be made. Showstopper's back, round the corner, second claims two. The beam down from Sassy, and it's all down to Leo. What a miracle play, what a miracle performance, but Leo, he might just end it. Left down to the 1v1 second, he has to kill him and he won't do it. The hopes and dreams ended in a flash as Sentinels are sent home and the Fnatic super team are looking primed and ready to continue in lock-in. What an insane way for the match to finish. Sentinels did everything they could there with Sassy and Zekken combining together to make a such a winnable 2v4. And it gets shut down, the winning moment from a player, unfortunately.